hear it. Um, anyway, um, the topic is uh, timeline is information retrieval and ranking unit in news search. And um, let me start with the background on, on news articles. So as we all know, news are very important for everyone, um, let, uh, whether local news or global news, we, we just want to know what happens around us. And uh, it has been found that news articles are one of the most consumed types of uh, online documents. However, they can be quite complex and often require contextual knowledge to, to understand uh, newscape, news landscape. Um, and the current style of, of the news search, as I see it, is basically not so much different from a, a web search. Uh, basically, 10 blue links. Um, there are some solutions like um, clustering uh, news from different sources, and, and, the, and the same news maybe are clustered in to, uh, are, are, are clustered together, but uh, still it is almost the same um, as a web search. Basically, raw documents are ranked um, and um, we think that maybe this is not the best way of um, searching in in the news collections because news are a specific type of documents. Um, often there are some kind of um, causal and, and complex relations between uh, news. Um, the events can be part of complex or long-running stories. Uh, then the, the query which may be input by the user could be um, ambiguous. Um, imagine some query like a location, for example, Japan. Uh, then there are so many news uh, that relate to to such a query that you know outputting documents um, by relevance only um, for the news search may not be the best solution. And also, when user is searching for events um, from far away, from let's say distant past, um, then this landscape of news is not known for the user and um we think that it's maybe not proper for the for the users to to have uh, results just ranked in a traditional way uh, like in a web search because the understanding will be hindered so um the the problem here is that as i already mentioned there could be some chronological or causal relations between uh, news uh, but also in addition different importance degrees of, of news articles uh, can be. So if we have news ranked by relevance, uh, perhaps on the top of ranked list, we might have not so important uh, news article, just relevant, but perhaps not very important. Um, because the importance degree at least, um, uh, well, at least explicitly is not uh, considered these days. Um, so uh, just relevance is considered, but there are many other factors for news which we think should be um, utilized. So the idea, uh, the proposal um, is to uh, look into new search more on the higher level and instead of ranking uh, news articles directly, maybe we could generate timelines and rank timelines, just like you can see here. Um, or perhaps uh, in a more realistic case, we could have a traditional ranking of news articles um, equipped together or supplemented by ranking of, of timelines um, so that this uh, sort of timelines would provide us um, overview of, of what happens in, in, in the news relevant to the query, what are the ongoing stories, and these stories can be different from each other. That's why we have multiple timelines here. And hopefully this will give users some sort of overview uh, first, and then user could zoom in to particular uh, news article later after after learning. Especially this is important for ambiguous queries or queries about some events from the distant past that user doesn't know much about and so on. And I want to mention here this idea of um, clustering uh, uh, signals, temporal signals of documents is not new. Uh, already uh, Omar Alonso and his collaborators in 2009 proposed idea of um, uh, clustering search results by, by timeline, um, well, by, by temporal aspects, but, uh, but they created only one timeline. Um, so that was different um, from our proposal. Here we have multiple timelines, each one for different story or perhaps different aspect viewpoint of the same story. Um, so let me now tell about how these timelines could be created. And I will start with uh, just a traditional uh, research uh, area of timeline summarization. It's a, a subtype of document summarization where we care especially about temporal factors. And timeline is nothing else, just a 
collection of dates and, and summaries for these dates. Um, but um, traditional timeline summarization is good for a homogeneous news collection. So basically collections of articles which are about the same uh, story or about the same entity. So these are clean sort of collections that one timeline may be generated from them and, and it's fine. But in uh, in real world, usually we have um, heterogeneous news article collections, multi-topic news article collections, and then what to do in that case when uh, we are supposed to generate some timeline. Obviously, in that case, one timeline will not be enough. So we think that we should extend um, just TLS research, timeline summarization research to more generic general form called uh, multi-timeline summarization. And we propose this uh, task, novel task in ACL um, conference this year. And uh, multi-timeline summarization basically uh, is more generic form of timeline summarization that from initial input document, we generate a set of timelines. And each timeline can have a different length um, and the timeline should be different from each other. Uh, so this is the, the, the setup. Um, and the question would be how to actually um, generate such multiple timelines. What kind of approach could be used here? Um, and how to also evaluate such multiple timelines, which are created from one input collection. And we see that there are two possible approaches, uh, as for now at least. Uh, one is divided summarize approach, and the other could be extract and connect approach. I will explain these two um, soon. So in divide and summarize approach, we just take a collection of news articles that is um, heterogeneous on different stories, different topics, and then divide it, let's say, by clustering into some more coherent, more homogeneous uh, subsets. And then uh, for each such sub-collection, we can apply traditional TLS methods, traditional summarization methods, which will result in one uh, timeline for each um, separate uh, collection um, news collection news article collection so this is sort of a, a two-step approach which utilizes still uh, traditional tls approaches uh, another approach which uh, we proposed in in that paper in acl paper is um, to do first event extraction and then after we have um, extracted and uh, found events from from a collection we can link them we can link them by causal relations and some other type of relations. And here we apply two-stage affinity propagation summarization. And um, nice feature of this approach is that um, we don't need to set up a number of timelines beforehand. So essentially the document collection is input and then the system itself will find how many timelines should be generated from it and then uh, this does not require the user to set k, a number k of timelines beforehand. And the collection uh, could be about uh, different um, stories, but it could be also about one entity. For example, let's suppose an entity like Amazon company, and you might have timeline, let's say product timeline, maybe another timeline like CEO timeline, or um, let's say some other acquisition of, of other companies timeline or, or whatever else. Uh, this could be, of course, uh, found, found in the collection itself what kind of timelines could be best uh, to be generated. And uh, I want to also tell something about evaluation measures. Um, so for timeline summarization, they are evaluation measures which extend Rouge um, evaluation. Like you can see here uh, in CONCAT Rouge, we can just concatenate uh, summaries and don't care about um, dates and, and simply compare uh, the system generated summaries uh, concatenated uh, with ground truth timeline summaries. Or we can do um, by aligning um, time, uh, or we can just only look at, thank you, uh, only look at the dates and, and so on. So for MTLS, the extension here is that we have some n number of multi, um, sorry, of, of ground truth timelines, and we have also multiple uh, generated timelines. So it's a bit more generic um, problem here, general problem, but it's possible to use uh, existing evaluation metrics. And other research points, how to label timelines so user can briefly see what the timeline is about, how to rank them. This is uh, not touched yet, but uh, possibly we could uh, average important scores of events which um, constitute a timeline and then compute timeline important score. And perhaps this could be used for for ranking. 
And finally, how to enable users to switch from timeline results to start results and then back. Let's say a first user could see timeline, then zoom in into a particular news article to find some detailed information and maybe come back to see the overview. This is interesting here, uh, we think, to, to combine these two styles, uh, the standard results and timeline, rank timeline uh, results. So uh, I will wrap up now. Um, what we suggest here in this short um, article is to, um, instead of having retrieve and rank uh, approach, try to have retrieve and summarize and then rank approach for, for news article search. So then we would have n timelines, which is a small number than some large m number of possible related, uh, re sorry, relevant uh, news articles. And then this kind of timelines could help users to understand uh, Newscape, uh, provide overview first, and then perhaps search and, and find uh, detailed information later. And we also propose that for this um, sort of paradigm, we could utilize MTLS task, data sets, methods, and evaluation measures, which were published also this year. So uh, I will uh, thank you now. Uh, I mean, say thank you, and uh, I'm looking for any questions. Thank you very much, Adam. Any questions for Adam? Omar? Hey, Adam. Hello. Adam, good stuff. Uh, one general question. Where, in which kind of newsy articles do you think Timelines may work best. Um, I didn't hear exactly. Do you mean like what queries would be best? No, uh, in, for example, you have news articles that could be politics, sports, you know, all sorts of things, financial news. Which mm -hmm. type of kind of news articles you think timelines should work best? Okay. Um, I didn't think about particular domain. I think any generic news um, would be good. Perhaps some news which are very complex, like politics or in multi-aspect cases, where where you really would need multiple timelines uh, to clarify the the newscape for the user and and structure it first before subsequent search would be good. Maybe maybe financial uh, could be a good example here, but I don't see some some areas which which this would not be useful, perhaps. Thank you. Any other questions? Yeah, hi. Uh, thank you very much for I'll pop in. Sorry, can you hear me? That's, that's, okay, it's working. Um, so you mentioned that you were merging the, the, the news articles into more homogeneous sets, essentially. Um, my question is based on what? Were you merging them based on, based on how, uh, for example, um, what was their uh, perception of the news, if they were more negative or more positive, so based on sentiment? Or was it based on the origin of the news? So if a specific news site published multiple articles on that topic, or what, what was it actually based on? Right. So, so the initial collection is, is, uh, is the collection of news relevant to the query, right? So let's say all the news that contain query like Japan are first built into one collection. And then we could generate timelines from these, either by this divide and summarize approach, like divide into some more coherent subset, let's say by, by clustering, k-means clustering or so, or, or just the other approach that I also um, discussed today. It's first find end uh, events because many articles mention often the same events. So you need to go from articles to events first and then link these events into timelines. So it would be by some sort of relations between events um, connecting uh, and constructing the final timeline. Okay, then I take my question. Um, thank you for the talk. Uh, I was wondering, does this really need to be an online situation that you wait for the query of the user and then you look for the timelines? Or shouldn't, or doesn't it also work that you just take your corpus of news articles, generate timelines, and then do retrieval on those? Yeah, this is a good question. Um, we expect that there should be some 
uh, efficiency considered, right? So when the query comes, generating such a couple of timelines may be, of course, time consuming. So unless there are some effective and, and fast approaches, we would need maybe to do some uh, offline, um, you know, uh, constructing of major timelines for some major queries, at least some most common expected queries. But uh, perhaps there could be some fast systems that can take, let's say, top hundred, top thousand news, and still reasonably fast to generate such timelines. But it's 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 a question to be researched, right? There is some overhead for the system to to be done uh, to to output results. And it should be fast, obviously, a <laughs> split of seconds. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so, Jeremy, can you stand up and tell uh, your comments? Um, I'm not sure where is the, uh, the last the... question. No, no, Jeremy. Oh, okay. sorry, I didn't hear you. Uh, yeah, so um, I think this is really interesting. I, I want to point you to some work by Russell Swan back in the late 90s, 98, 99. Um, he had this notion of, of view, you know, viewing story, you know, multiple sort of, you know, related news articles on a timeline and then you could drag, you could sort of open and close the X axis the, the timeline axis and basically make it bigger or smaller. And as you made it bigger or smaller, different stories would come to prominence. Uh, so, so basically based on your scale, you would have a different summarization. Do you see anything that, that could be done in that direction? If, if there's some form of interactivity and in how you might not just have one summarization for the timeline, but have, you know, a multi-dimensional, multi-scale kind of summarization yeah this is interesting um proposal um yeah perhaps there could be some zooming in zooming out approaches and um and, and and as i said before like switching back and forth between traditional results like 10 blue links to to the generated timelines or perhaps always seeing the timelines on the left and the main results in the main screen and then, yeah, some sort of interaction possibilities here. So this is open for, for the research. And also it's open for the research how these timelines could help users to find the information they are looking for. Someone could do these studies. I don't know uh, if we'll do it in the future or not, but, but I think it's open topic to um, provide this kind of middle construct and, and see if they really speed up um, in in finding information i mean helping users to find information because they help to contextualize things right to show the entire landscape of news first and and understand better uh, news that especially is good for uh, researching the past like old stories that we maybe not remember much about not know much about and and we kind of sort of jump in into particular time point right and being there and just looking at the relevant results only one by one is very much cognitive burden for the user and, and without context, it's hard. Thank you very much again, uh, Adam. Thank you.